what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks Army. It is good to be back in the vault, man. Hopefully you guys had a great weekend this past weekend. I celebrated my wife's birthday, 420. It was a vibe. We chilled. We enjoyed the weekend. Now it's back to work, Army, but I'm going to keep it a buck, Army. I know I didn't do a video on Saturday and Sunday, but I did drop the Era Jordan 3 J Balvin video after we get off the live. And y'all said y'all was going to tune in, Army, but y'all let that video sit all weekend long without really getting no movement. I'm like, I know the Army ain't begged me to go ahead and drop this Era Jordan 3 J Balvin video, and y'all didn't even check it out. So, Army, after this video, make sure y'all go out and check out the Air Jordan 3 J Balvin video because I'm going to be honest, man. I'm saying that those are in the running for sneaker of the year. Check the video out. I love these. These are 100% a double up. Army, we got a couple things that's going on this week as far as these Air Jordan 4 Military Blues. Now, before I get too in-depth about talking about what's going on this week, just over the weekend, Army, I just been seeing a lot of talk, bro. A lot of talk, a lot of comparison between the two of these. Now, Army, I know, I know, we talking about the military force. But yes, they haven't even dropped yet. Again, I got more information for you guys regarding another release in a little bit. But what kind of prompted me to do this video, I see my bro, Sniper Jones, make uh, post this morning on Instagram. He was basically bashing the 2024 pair because it didn't look like the 2012 pair. And even being on Instagram, and especially Twitter, like Twitter was tearing these joints apart. A lot of people was like, they don't look like the 2012 pair. The 2012 pair, that's real military blue. But y'all wrong. Now here's the thing. And we've talked about this. We've seen it. We've seen the comparison. But I just feel like the misinformation that's being put out here. These are said to be as close to the OG as possible. Now, if you look at some of the comparison pictures that have been posted between the 89 pair and the 2024 pair, I don't want to say they spot on because yes, there are some differences. But as far as the colorway, the colorway is A1. Now, Army, when I talked to Z Sneaker here earlier today, he had a great point. He said, sometimes you need to watch what you ask for or be careful what you ask for. We always want OGs or as close to the OG as possible when we get original Air Jordan colorways. Now, if you look at it, when we wanted the OG Aqua H, they gave us as close to the OG as possible, them joint set because people didn't like the glitter on. Get the 2011 Bordeaux 7s, hands down the greatest Air Jordan 7 of all time. We seen what happened with the OGs. Bam, they gave us a retro. The retro hit like a mug. Coldest, man, one of the coldest retros, and it ain't even close to the OG. But when they gave us an OG in 2015, they sat. I feel like whenever Jordan Brand gives us a retro of an OG that hasn't had as many OGs as the populars, again, Brand 11s, look how many times them retro, Concord, Brand 1s, White Cement 3s, Black Cement 3s, Brand 4s, like, we know what to expect every single time. But when it's them one-offs, we ain't seen it. This is the first time being OG. As close to OG as possible, look what happened. Like, I can name more than just the Aqua 8s, the Bordeaux 7s, Shadow 10s, as close to OG as possible. Only change was the Jumpman's on the back. I mean, we see what happened with them joints, Army. Hey, hey, like these stick ass said, be careful for what you ask for. Me, personally, give me all of the OGs as close to OG as possible. As close to OG as possible, and I'm here for it. I don't like when we get... A OG and it's certain differences. Like the shade is different. Instead of it being fire red, they went with true red. Like give me as close to the OG as possible, Army. Like that's just me. But if y'all just like me, man, comment down in the comment section below and let me know that I ain't tripping. Now, unlike most popular Air Jordans, like the Air Jordan 1 Chicago, Air Jordan 1 Bread, Air Jordan 3 Black Cement, these Air Jordans have been retroed at least five or six times and stayed as close to their original color as possible. The brand one, you know, may have a couple hiccups as far as the color from like the 2011 band ones and the 2016 band ones. Those, those have a different shade of red. Even Army, as far as the recent release of the Air Jordan 3 Cool Grays and the Air Jordan 4 Cool Grays, both of those had a different shade of gray. 
That was not spot on, but you didn't hear a lot of people complaining about those. The thing with the 2012 Military Blue and the 2006 Military Blue, and again, Army, if you see, these are two completely different shoes. It's almost to the point, Army, where I want to keep my 2012 pair just because, again, it is two completely different shades of blue. Now, here's why I always say Jordan Brand makes a big mistake. They reintroduced these OGs without giving a full backstory, without showing the OG pictures of it, especially when you have fooled the sneaker community for decades with this one right here 2006 2012 military blues did not have the right shade of blue like the ogs now the thing is unlike the bread ones blacksmith threes bread elevens sneakers like those where you get in a retro of it every four to five years this is the first time we've seen the og air jordan 4 military blue so we've literally gone 35 years without seeing the original colorway. Had two releases of the Air Jordan 4 Military Blue with this exact shade of blue. And that's why I feel like so many people are upset. Let's just start from 2006. Imagine going dang near 20 years thinking that this is the military blue. And we finally get the OG and y'all get this. A lot of people are disappointed and a lot of people honestly prefer that 2012 color of the military blue over the 2024. Now, Armin, if your sole decision on not liking these is because you do like the different shade of blue, now I'm gonna give you that. You know, that's opinion, that's your preference. But we can't say this is not military blue. Like my boy Sniper Jones said, this is not military blue, this is industrial blue. Bro, read the box. The box says military blue. Now, if Jordan Brand would have dropped these in a color on the box said industrial blue, then hey, these would be the industrial blue Air Jordan 4s. These joints are military blue. Again, Nike, for some reason, do not want to use the term military. Hey, that's their prerogative. This is just the blue that we've been accustomed for for almost 20 years, y'all. So I get it. I get where a lot of people are upset. I get where a lot of people just like, man, I'm going to pass on these. I get it because y'all was expecting this right here. If you was expecting this shade of blue right here, Army, you wasn't paying attention to the videos, the the leaked photos, the news regarding that these are gonna be as close to the OG as possible. So if you're not buying these because you don't think that they is close to the OG, don't listen to what people saying. <laughs> the 2024 is closer to the OG and the 2006, 2012 pair. Another reason that prompted me to do this video army is because somebody said that we were scammed with this pair right here. 2024 Military Blues was a scam. That's not the case, y'all. This is not a scam. They just gave us these. And hey, I mean, it is what it is. But if you still rocking with these right here, Army, you got another chance at grabbing these joints for retail this week. Touch bases on the video tomorrow, Army. I said, if this release right here mirrors the Air Jordan 4 brand reimagine, these right here are dang near gonna be a $280, $300 shoe come release day. But seeing how we get a more drops, we got exclusive access dropping Thursday, the 25th. And if we get a sneaker pass after that, um, these dang there may be around retail once these joints drop. A lot of people not rocking with these. And I told y'all that. But again, I'm going to talk about that in tomorrow's video. I said the people want the brand for reimagines over these. I said that I think that the people going to want the brand for reimagines over these right here. And honestly, Army, that's what it's looking like right now. And I see Nike trying to hype it up a little bit with this exclusive access. And this is on sneakers app for you guys to check out as well. It said Air Jordan 4 Industrial Blue Launch Details. To prioritize our most loyal Air Jordan 4 members, the Air Jordan 4, man, bro, these military, military blues will be released via exclusive access in the sneakers app. Understand exclusive access, Air Jordan 4, Industrial Blue. Now, Army, if y'all want to go ahead and read all this, y'all can, but long story short, if you have taken at least two L's on Air Jordan 4 from January 1st, 2023, up until March 1st, 2024, you will be eligible to be selected. Now, I feel like that's majority of the sneaker community, bro. Like, if you talk about the SB4s, that's an Air Jordan 4. You can talk about the Thunder 4s. You can talk about the Red Cement. Like, we got a lot of 4s that drop between the beginning of last year and right now. Now, the thing is, this is the same nonsense that they stir up every time it's a popular shoe. When they have the Kobe's, if you took... Three L's on three Kobe's within the last four years, bam, lost and found. If you took an L on an Air Jordan 1 within the last six months, bam, you're eligible for the restock for the lost and found. If you took an L on a shot drop, or if you took an L on the release for the lost and found, eligible for this exclusive access. Now, mind you, 
I qualify every time, but I never get selected. So I feel like it's going to be the same bubble. Plus, I hit on a shot drop with these Army, so I know 9 out of 10, they ain't even looking my way. Also, don't forget, Dick Sporting Good. I'm hearing that they going to do wristbands. You got JD Sport Finish Line Exclusive Access. You got FLX. You got Snipes. You got Jimmy Jazz. You got DTLR. There's still ample amounts of opportunities in order to grab these Joint Sport Retail Army. Again, it's looking like Nike going to give us more opportunities to grab them early. So but make sure y'all hitting that like button. Make sure you guys are subscribed. We will be going live for this exclusive access this Thursday. So make sure y'all tap down. Army, I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. Other than that, you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable Vote. I'm Break with Army, stand strong like always. Most importantly, hug your loved ones and, of course, remain humble. And we out. I hit unbreakable for the uses. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's old stuff, but he get a music. Yo, it's old, him first season. Them most beefy, looking like two laps. Two laps, cause your ass taking nails.